Uh, the last talk for today's session in the fifth Balkan is Mr. Igor Petronik with his talk by, uh, about Armbian, which is Linux for development boards. Please give him a applause. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my presentation. Four years ago, it was mid 2013. I have a small dream. I have a dream uh, to set up my email server at home. Nothing, nothing special. Uh, and ARM-based computer seems like um, an obvious choice. Raspberry Pi, A, at the moment. But it was uh, not very interesting for me. It was quite uh, a toy, actually, barely designed toy. And I searched further, and I found a Qubit rack. It looks it can run a Debian, but uh, on a much better hardware. Gigabit, two gig of RAM, dual core, SATA, battery powered, wow. Of course, it was not a perfect device, uh, but uh, it is a reason that uh, the project began. So quick facts, Arbian is a community project. It's open source and uh, licensed under GPL 2.0. This will tell a lot about the, the project itself. It's mostly sponsored by pri our private resources. I will present the project from my own perspective. So uh, let's briefly check who I am. I'm uh, the founder of this project. Um, the main tamer, I'm full-time employed actually at this project right now. And beside me, there are uh, two, 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 three, four people two or three people I can count as a uh, semi to full time. I'm a small business entrepreneur. My field com competence, I, I study math and computer, computer science, but later I also uh, proceed to human science and philosophy, but not formal way, this, the, the, the last part. I use computers since 80s. Uh, since ZX Spectrum, then uh, my first Linux experience was 0.9 kernel in Slackware 1.0. That was 1993, I think. I have two kids, age of three and six. So let's check what Armbian is, actually. It's Debian and Ubuntu, very, something very, very generic, but it's, it's working on 70 boards at the moment. Um, one quarter of those boards are work in progress, one quarter are already end of life. So we are now fourth year, uh, we are working on this project. We maintain more than 30 ARM and ARM64 different kernels. There are a lot of official, un, um, unofficial ports for TV, TV boxes, which, uh, which are actually maintained by community mem members. We don't deal with that. But the similar, similarity between TV boxes and uh, development, development boards are quite, quite big. So uh, they're actually packed into nice boxes and sell as uh, TV box. With, usually they come with Android, but we, uh, we want to use it for pure Linux. We managed to build very powerful build tools, um, which were actually the first step in, the, in, in this project. I want to have... Um, one, one uh, way to build everything with, with one click, let's say, or uh, with, uh, with one punch on the keyboard. And we actually succeed that. Um, we have stable and uh, beta repository, which is uh, updated daily. And uh, we, we uh, also um, have very good reputation because we are brutally honest. We don't hide anything. The project is really it's open source like it should be. The presentation, it will, it will uh, short show the motives for, for start, um, which were uh, uh, the basic, the basic, uh, uh, which, uh, um, the basic ideas which led me to, uh, to initiate the project. Actually, I bought this device and I want to use it. 
Uh, that was my, my personal motive, but this motive is expanded later. Uh, I will proceed then to historical overview how the project involved to the time. I will show you the infrastructure which we use right now and um, the user space, what is, how is our Debian different than some generic Debian or Ubuntu. And I will close it with, with the built engine, just overview how it is done. So motives for start, I only wanted to run a Debian server on ARM-based machine. And this was the board for the project, which I bought four years ago. Uh, it was, uh, it was uh, the, the software development kit which was provided with those boards was rubbish. It was completely unusable. And if you want to use this machine, which, you, you, which looked very good, and it's still, today, it's quite an interesting board, uh, you have to really dig, dig deep into, into the kernel to, to fix things. It, but at that time, it was a brick, actually. It was very, very bad. I simply forgot about this board for some time, um, because it was not possible to use it for the purpose which I uh, which is wanted to use it for to serve my email. You cannot run email server on, on such a rubbish hardware. So my early motivation was disappointment because I bought the brick and uh, the curiosity, what, to, what I can do to improve this, uh, to make this brick work. And of course, to finish, I, I had this idea what I will put on this machine. Um, from web server to, to NAS to, to um, I also plugged the, the scanner, the printer, everything. It, it's powerful enough. A year later, I end up with, with this. Actually, uh, this is the project realization. It's based on one, one A20 machine, which is there. There is a fiber converter. So everything is designed from scratch. Even the, 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 the box was uh, cut out and draw. It's, it's handmade, everything. Uh, from, from the software part uh, to, the, to the box which stand on my wall, and I, when I approach it, I saw which buses are approaching on the left side of my condo, and which are, so it's really some practical, practical uh, usage. And of course, it works everything what I uh, uh, show it on the picture, all those services are running on uh, such a small machine. Historical overview. I will proceed quickly. Um, I only wanted to run a Debian server <laughs> again. I joined Cubivort community, community to, to start uh, getting some information uh, to see what we can do together and not just I, because I can do any, nothing actually. And I see some people were already doing some progress on the on this kernel. And I start to work on this bash script, which later become a, that g g gigantic, powerful tool, which can, uh, uh, which can bring sources together, and you, you, you get a, a bootable image with very clean operating, uh, which, with clean Debian, with utilities and everything. So I fell into the cycle, and other people started to join this initiative, and. Uh, my, my work actually quickly uh, attack, uh, quickly got attention by, by uh, companies, and they start to send me some boards. I moved things to GitHub, so before I was just doing at home some, some small, small project. Then I start to, uh, uh, I moved to GitHub, and people start to join, and hey, let's do this this way, and, and we start to work together. Everything was pure hobby project, I didn't have any, 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 anything else. Like I have those three boards. I, uh, early in the project, we start uh, with the Ubuntu Trusty. Downloads were on public servers because there was no intention to do anything seriously. This is, <laughs> this is the, the equipment which I had at the time, uh, practically nothing. Actually, I, I was doing something else at that time in my life. and. Um, I moved a lot, and actually, my, my I only have one small desktop, old desktop computer, one 19-inch screen, and exactly this voltmeter. So I 
couldn't do much of diagnostic uh, uh, with, with this kind of equipment. But motives keep me up. So I want to learn. Uh, I, I'm not a hardware guy in essence. I'm a software developer. So I know a lot, little about electronics, but not, that, not enough to, to solve all problems which were in this area. So I want to learn. And I want to help people which were which are in worse situation than I was. There were a lot of people who, um, who were not even close to my, my uh, knowledge, let's say. And I like to, thi I like to make, make things, not just blow up. <laughs> I like to make them. Uh, so nevertheless, things quickly progressed. 2014, we start to think uh, to do things more uh, more seriously. I bought a domain. I, I just thought we need a name because um, every good every project needs a name. I touch ARM and something. What can we uh, ARM build? Oh, it's free. It's ten bucks. Let's buy it. So that, that how that how actually the ARMBN com was uh, was uh, established in five minutes. And also, all the, this basic infrastructure is really simple. We don't actually need much. It's a WordPress block, and uh, with uh, all the simple informations. But 2014 was a jump. We start to get boards. Boards are start to come in, and people, uh, the crew expanded. We spent months in uh, just Xenial system D problems. Uh, everybody who are familiar with with this uh, with system D related troubles knows that uh, it, it could be painful. And we really, uh, we almost gave up to, to introduce system D, but eventually we managed to uh, fix all the problems. And uh, now we have uh, a system with system D and it's working very well. This, we also got the first server. Some guy approached to me, uh, here is an unlimited server, here is uh, here is 200 euros. Uh, do you think any? Do you need anything else? But it's a normal guy. It's it's like, it's not. Uh, it's a, it's an ordinary man. And he said, I have a free server. Use it. And we still use that server. It is in Estonia. So, um, community actually um, put all resources to the to to this project because they see a potential. Repository views aptly, if you are familiar with it, uh, community forums or IPS, that um, was uh, also, uh, we managed to, to set up in this, let's say, in the middle phase in 2014. Um, project was hosting, the, everything was actually hosted from, uh, in the beginning it was on A20, on uh, Olimex Lime, I was running everything on it, forums and the website except download servers in Estonia because um, he had a good, uh, good connection. But uh, the, the, everything else was here. In the middle time, I need to switch to the most powerful board which I had at home because I wanted to, to, run, uh, to run the project on, on, on ARMBN, let's say, on ARM-based uh, machine. And um, Odroid XU4 was in service uh, until uh, early of this year, or I think in December last year, we switched it to some more advanced machines because it was not able to uh, to go with the flow, let's say. Middle-aged problems. Uh, we start to rely more, uh, rely more and more to documentation, which uh, often, which prove often that it's, 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 it's wrong. Uh, that's because the, the board designer rushed to, to put out their uh, boards and, uh, of course, uh, they forgot to adjust documentations. But when we got the board inside and uh, you start to look to the documentation and it doesn't fit, fit the reality and you lose a lot of time on this, uh, it's almost the same as you didn't uh, look into anything. Then uh, the, the quality of initial board supports is, is awful. Uh, the kernel which the, the board maker or, or the chip maker, they, they produce some basic kernel, it's, it's awful. It's, uh, 
there are so many, so many troubles that uh, normal user cannot use it. And we actually, our, our job here is that we um, put that rubbish code and put it a few levels, levels higher. We are still a small group. I can count uh, our internal group as a, around 10, 10 people. It's too small for, for the size of the troubles. But we do how much, uh, how much we can. And of course, users um, have very too high, exp uh, too high expectations. And uh, they think that everything is for free, uh, even, uh, even our time. So they usually don't give much in, in return. 2016, we managed to fix um, um, video recording on all winner, which is the main, our main uh, um, section. On, it's actually running on all A10, A20, H3, and A64 boards. A lot of new boards are coming. First, uh, ARM64 board came in. That means we have to adjust um, um, user space. So that was also a little bit problematic because uh, Debian uh, just few months ago, they, re they, pack they packaged first ARM64 uh, user space, which was not very, very tested. And um, problems were on that level as well. So we have to compensate that. EMM EMMC boards start to show up in this year. Uh, that's a big progress. It's like an, it's, it's closer to SSD than as SD card is really, or NAND before. It's, um, it's, let's say AMC is far more reliable and, and, and fast than anything uh, what we have before. And also uh, we uh, put uh, a dedicated build server which is running around the clock, or around the clock, let's say one, once per day, it, it builds everything together and it takes all night, even it, it does more, most of the things in parallel. Uh, present situations, six, a lot of new boards are coming. So uh, uh, we have to uh, establish um, torrent download service. As I mentioned before, I used, we, we have one uh, download location, and um, that download lo location becomes a bottleneck when we uh, put out a major release. It's, it's, it's a straight line on, on, the, um, on the router. Um, um, and uh, now uh, we have a dedicated torrent uh, network all over the world. So it's also its community. Uh, I said uh, we need this because um, actually you need this if you want a, a fast download. Share our 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 uh, images, and uh, we have really good speed all all over the world now. Okay, first notebook support came in uh, with Pine, uh, which is actually um, developer boards with, with an LCD, LCD display. All, all developers, or main developers, we joined uh, under uh, GitHub slash Ambient before we have uh, all our sources were scattered around uh, our private accounts. We start to use Twitter for, I don't know what, but we use it. Project hosting went to Okay, high-end servers this year. Yeah. Problems which we face, the biggest problems is strong pressure on our support. We are just few people and uh, for example, uh, I just checked a few days ago, the, the most popular board at the, that, uh, at the present time, it's around 200 downloads every day. So you can imagine how many um, people are using uh, uh, Armbian. It's, it's a little bit too much uh, what we can take. Of course, users are failing to, pre to, to uh, use prepared documentation. We, we invest a lot of time into it, but still, donations, they, they, they come. Actually, uh, I have a small paycheck or few people, we have a small paycheck out of donations. And the biggest problem, which is uh, from the developer's perspective, is a big hardware di diversity. All ARM, or each ARM, each new ARM platform is 
you start from scratch, actually. And then you have different uh, wireless chips, which, which we also support. What, whatever is all hardware which is on, on the board, we tend to, to, to support. Um, today and tomorrow, well, well we, we are admired, but this, that, that, that doesn't help much. We are somehow de facto standard on this um, non-Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi section. We don't deal with Raspberry Pi, everything else. Uh, but here we, we kind of have a really big share. So this is actually the copy-paste from uh, the Google um, Analytics. Uh, I hope uh, some of us will have a full-time employment if we will continue this uh, in this in, in this way. Let's briefly check the current infrastructure. The brain where it's uh, five to ten people are, are the core group. Then third party, which are somehow connected to this community, are um, groups who are uh, uh, doing more, who are digging more deeply into the kernel drivers. Uh, we are cooperating with those who are doing with all with most mostly with the, those then they are both board makers who also have their own development apartment usually consistent from one or two developers uh, and of course random participants they jumped uh, on the project with their own problem and they supply some patches look i fixed this for my own project and he shared that uh, that's quite common actually and general let's say general community gives a, actually shape this project. It's, um, so I, I, can, I have to count them because it's community project. Mm, so um, software, it's very simple. From one side, we use text editor and uh, 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 Git tools. This is daily, daily, daily usage. And of course, everything is around this uh, built tool chain which runs uh, currently, we, uh, mm, oh, it runs on any actually, uh, but we promote Ubuntu Xenial because there, uh, we use it and it works there 100%. Uh, uh, sorry, okay, third party LT7. Okay, services quickly, those uh, website forum tool chain, uh, Download server, this, this kind of, this is like, let's say a minimum or a, or a typical, for, for uh, Linux distribution, which you need to have. Um, some general information forums for community, uh, where is the, 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 the sources or the, 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 the tool chain downloading repository with stable and, 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 uh, and uh, beta. Twitter, here's, we use this. So, user space introduction, it's Debian or Ubuntu, stable only. So we have Ubuntu Xenial and uh, uh, Debian Jesse, Debian Stretch we are preparing and we will, it will be switch, 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 switched. Uh, so Jesse, go, Jesse goes out, Stretch comes in. Th that's, that's, that is the philosophy. So we, we, uh, we will provide just this. Anything else, you can, uh, user can do it on, on their own. We provide uh, uh, separate uh, command line interface and separate one simple X FCA based desktop. We put on Chromium, Thunder Thunderbird, LibreWrite, and that's it. So it's like a plug and play for many, many, many people. Serial, serial console is definitely enabled on every board. We, we focus to this fe feature uh, especially because it's a uh, serial console is it's, uh, it's a basic debug tool, and it, it has to work, simply. So, it, okay, uh, then um, when you log in, you have to, f you have to change uh, root password, wireless. If it's on board, it's, it's working, and, uh, and you can connect uh, to, to, the, to, the, to your wireless, ne wireless network. And, of course, Docker is also supported on all our boards, with, without exception. Just, it has to be kernel 3.10 or, or higher. Optimizations, those are the most important things which uh, uh, actually different uh, our Debian from generic Debian. We focus to how, how, to, how to use 
memory to, uh, to, to reduce frequency of savings because uh, SD cards, which are typical media of those in, on those uh, small, uh, small uh, computers, are, are very, very, very slow. So they, are, they, they were not designed for such usage, but if you make use of memory, then uh, it become uh, much, much faster and uh, your SD card will live longer. Unified boot with RAM disk and UUED. Um, this is something very common on, uh, on Intel platform, but here, uh, not, not, not a single board uh, had this kind of uh, boot system. Each, boot, each board has his, its own boot system, it, its own way of booting. So it was a disaster. Uh, and uh, we unified this boot, uh, booting scenario, and um, of course, it's much, much more convenient. We also developed device three overlay for uh, all winner uh, family. If you are using this, you know what, uh, what does it mean? It's for switching hardware functions on and off on a very, very simple way. Uh, op optimization to dyn dynamic voltage, uh, voltage uh, and frequency scaling. We have one guy in, in, uh, in the group who is uh, he's completely uh, insane about those. Um, to, he want to um, to get down to the really to the best optimization which is possible, and he is doing this. Uh, he like to do that. I mean, he will not stop until he will find the, the that point which will be the best. The file system auto expense. That's also one feature which is good to have at on SD media um, that uh, you immediately uh, start to use the the whole um, space of your SD card. Headers, kernel headers are installed, so you can uh, build drivers. That's also one cool feature. Um, you, just, you, you just type make. That's all. You don't need to do anything. Uh, so we, we really prepared uh, this for uh, developers and also for, I mean, for end users and for developers. They can use this um, from start. We also made a few extra tools to make life easier, easier on those boards. There is Armbian Monitor. It's a base diagnostic tool when seeking support. It also installs mon uh, web-based monitoring. CPU miner checks SD card for speed. The, uh, also, data can be uploaded to pass the bin or logs. So when anybody approaches, hey, I have a problem, type Ambient monitor minus U and uh, show us the, the, the URL. And uh, all, all his logs are there. And we can see what, what, what are the problems. Uh, H3 consumption, it's for tweaking. Um, you can uh, switch CPU cores on and off and that kind of stuff. The uh, sp uh, speed of memory. Uh, this, you can disable video output. So if you if you want to tune up your board for, uh, to that consumption is goes down and it goes down for really I don't know for three quarter or something like that. You can lower the the, the consumption. In some cases, this is important. Then we have um, arm, 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 arm hardware info and uh, first run. Those are just scripts which apply certain. Uh, uh, special board, board settings at boot up and or at first run. So we put there some things that we can uh, adjust those board to the optimum levels. And we can still can keep the rest of the, the, the system the same. Then we have this uh, ARM, uh, Armbian config. Uh, you can see it's, it's a menu driven uh, system for um, uh, um, setting some generic things up to, let's say, networking is interesting here. You can uh, enable, disable uh, access point, and it uh, auto-detects you which uh, capabilities of your Wi-Fi uh, interface. It can see. Uh, it goes uh, up from G to AC, and um, 
if you have uh, if your uh, adapter is AC compatible, then your access point will run on AC. So it's that kind of stuff. <laughs> also installing to internal memory um, and uh, software install and that kind of stuff. User problems again, they don't read anything. They don't understand um, basic uh, principles of um, Ohm law. Um, they want uh, the, the one is let's say a typical example is uh, oh I have a, 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 a po my power supply gives me five amps and uh, I have a, my phone charger cable which is micro USB and uh, I want to um, power my Tinkerboard. Uh, it doesn't go because Tinkerboard simply needs 2.4 amps that it runs. And micro USB doesn't uh, provide, let's say maybe 1.5, but it, it, it varies from the quality, from the cable quality, from the micro USB quality. But in essence, you will never get two amps from this uh, through through this connection. And this is the actually the number number one to number two problem. Number one problem in this world is. SD card quality, number two is this micro USB powering, which is actually a disaster, and it's also a disaster on Raspberry Pi, and they need to hack it. Um, they must create, actually, this problem. Well, the built engine, it, um, it has 24 source configuration. What does it mean? That means that. Um, Uh, some some boards, of course, um, we have uh, around, uh, say it's around 70 boards. Some of those boards share; they are all, some of them are identical or are very very close, alike, and they share kernel and they share maybe other things. But we need to operate with 24 source sources, and uh, up we have up to three kernel branches. Kernel branches means we have, uh, usually there is one le le legacy kernel which comes with the chip. It's usually, it was uh, quickly made, it's quickly made kernel which they are using in, um, for Android. And that kernel then, uh, we have to clean it up. It's usually a mess full of, um, also we found some security holes in it but eventually, we, we fix it and we, we have it inside because there are um, other, other uh, good points. Currently, uh, video acceleration does, it works only on, on, those, on those kernels. So we have legacy kernel, then we have, I would say, it main line, but it's not completely main line. It's not directly uh, from uh, kernel org. Uh, because there are a lot of patches over those those kernels. It's somewhere in between because most of those boards or half or let's say yeah most uh, doesn't have mainline support or mainline support is really really basic. If you just download kernel from kernel org and you compile it, uh, you maybe will be able to boot the board, but uh, that's it. We use. Um, uh, the built engine, uh, the best, it, it runs uh, at Ubuntu Xenial, but it also runs on Jesse Stretched. Uh, we use 11 in external Lino, Linux compilers. It runs only, um, uh, uh, c c we support only cross compilation for, for two reasons. First is speed. It's obvious. Uh, I did a small example. Uh, on uh, one popular H3 machine, H3 uh, all-winner board, it took uh, 45 minutes to, to compile latest uh, latest uh, mainline kernel mm, with all with all possible um, capacity, with all cores, and and I run it in memory, so I optimize to to perfection. But it still it took 45 minutes while um, on my build server this takes. One point something minute. 
I compile it in one minute and 20 seconds, something like that. Of course, it's a huge, it, it's a huge box, but still, uh, for developing things, uh, you cannot uh, develop it uh, on, on the board. It takes a, a little bit of too much, too much time. So we, uh, the built engine is menu-driven or, or it's parameter-driven, and we also implement a lot of optimizations with it. As you can see, the, the basic principle you, you choose, you will uh, go for image or kernel, then just proceed it to either, you, you will get a depth, depth file to install it or, or image to write on the SD card. But the op optimizations, we use apt catcher. Uh, if you're familiar with it, it's installed with, with, with the system, but it, you can use it on, uh, you can switch to your uh, company one if you have it. Parallelization, uh, it's done to also down to, to perfection. I run 100 images at once. I build them at once. Uh, I don't have more memory. The, otherwise, I would uh, run all, all of them. So we use compiler cache. User space is also cached. Uh, and everything is building in memory if you have it. So. So this is the, the, the release cycle. It's four months long. In, in some, somehow we managed to uh, come to the four months release cycle. In the last month, we engaged external testers to, to test not all, but most of the boards. And there is constant interaction. So the... the the stable images which are uh, for download, they're all tested. Eventually, we, because the, the support is actually too, too expensive, uh, and we rather test it than ask, uh, answer people uh, how to fix and, and so on. Mm. So this is, this is how, how far things are done. I hope it was kind of interesting. And uh, let's focus on the end uh, what kind of a legacy uh, uh, this project made. Well, we built the community, which is uh, uh, a central point of this Arbion. It's also a reason of the project existence. Without the community, without the need, it will not continue. And it's also the main resource. The community shaped the tools. And most of donations are actually come, uh, come from end users, not from companies, from end users. Five euro there, 10 euro there. Of course, sometimes some company approach and give you here is 500 or something like that, but mostly end users. Then knowledge, which was built around, we tend to answer just about every question which, which pops out. We made documentations to limit the, those questions down as far as it's possible. We made tools which are really powerful, and they, they, are, they, they are able to manage huge source diversi diversity, and they make life easier. That, that was the whole point. Uh, and we provide some universal system which covers all those boards which are in the spectrum. And we promote open source really with, with, with passion. So that, that was all. Thank you, Linux user group of Novisat for invitation. <laughs> and is there any question? Hi, excuse me. Um, I have one question. Why did you decide to go for your own own tool chain and not something community-based like Linaro, for example, for cross-compilation? We, we actually, uh, for, for code, we use Linaro compilers. Uh, don't, me, don't get me wrong, but um, for everything else, uh, let's say the, the only alternative would be build root. But build, build root is kind of um, 
it's not designed for uh, this kind of uh, work. First, uh, it, uh, we don't recompile everything. We tend to uh, create things a little bit, not a little bit, uh, much more easier. We took, uh, uh, we de debootstrap the, the, the Debian system, we compile kernel, we compile uh, our tools. For that, we use, uh, and U-boot, of course. U-boot is uh, <laughs> uh, very important. And that's, that's um, problematic enough, I would say. We have uh, too much problems already with that. We don't need more, uh, uh, more, <laughs> more problems. First, thank you for Arbion. It was the easiest one for me to set up of all the alternatives. Um, two questions, if you'll indulge me. Uh, first, um, have you come across certain boards that you found were easy to, well, easier to configure because of better vendor documentation or correct documentation or free hardware? Because I would rather choose those next time. Um, and second, uh, the the optimization specific to the boards and stuff like that um, has that been um, contributed to other projects? And by what mechanism does that usually happen? If so, I think you. No, first, um, there are some vendors which provide really, really, really good uh, documentation, but the problem is. Uh, they are not necessarily commercial um, successful, which means uh, there is not much community support for those boards. And you're stuck again. You're alone. So, uh, and you alone, you cannot um, solve the problems. I can see, let's say, this um, particular problem on, maybe perhaps on IMAX uh, uh, platform. I was um, um, cooperating with Solidran, and I, I must say, they, they do really good documentation, they are helpful, they are really everything, but the community part is not so good. Uh, and they, they are not able to fix all, all problems which uh, pops out. Uh, so from this perspective, it's, it's, it's really hard to say. On the other side, you have all winner, for example, where community part, community is really good, and uh, documentation is lousy. It's non-existing, it's really hard to get anything from Chinese that is uh, worth uh, to look into it. Um, uh, the, se the second question. Uh, the special um, uh -huh. optimizations came to each other. Uh, the the, the optimization, yeah, I would say um, uh, there were a few spin, spin outs from our project, one commercial uh, and a uh, few non commercial, which are actually using our base in total. So they, they actually uh, built the uh, thing up. Uh, so they actually use all those optimization which are built into the Arbian. Because Arbian essentially was, uh, was designed to, to, to secure a base. I don't care what you will do with the board, but I will prepare you a solid base. That, that's the, the philosophy of, since start. I mean like Slackware Arm or Arch Linux Arm or... They are behind, really. Yeah. You, they, are, they, are, yeah. they are years behind, if you, if you uh, look closely. So. I have a question. Uh, which is the uh, least uh, specification-wise, uh, the lowest specification-wise board you get Armbian running on, in terms of uh, processor speed, memory, and so on? Well, uh, the older boards. Uh, I <laughs> We, we still support some uh, A10 boards. Maybe that would be the, the lowest. Uh, single core, uh, 500 max. But current situation, you have, in, in current situation, there are those small uh, NanoPi boards, which are this size, I don't know, 2.5, 2.5. You have Ethernet connector or without. And it's uh, H3 chip, which is quad core and it's quite powerful. Uh, this is the smallest, and they don't put so much memory also on it because uh, you don't need it usually. So. More questions? Hmm? Thank you very much. <laughs>